2014 Jeep Patriot 4x4. We got a smaller damage here. We're going to replace this light. Uh, open your trunk up so pretty much you can have to get a light. So this is the light here. Uh, got it from my local parts store called uh, Cap Continental Auto Parts. And uh, this is almost like a $110 light. There's a part number there if you guys need. And there's the freaking company that makes it. So pretty much. You have the assembly, light assembly here. It has two connectors here, and then it sits into like a little two clips here. Comes a new bulb. We are gonna take off that bulb, put it in here because this one is a regular filament bulb, and that's an LED. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to replace this freaking light. All you need to do is, even if you want to change your bulb, it'd be a good video for you guys. So somebody already been here. You see that all that clunked up. So you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver or a clip removing retainer, something similar to this, made by Snap-on, 50 bucks, we'll get you that. So here's another one down here. So the angle is weird, that's why it's a little chopped up, but we're gonna have to get this baby out of there somehow, some way. Okay. Not coming out there you go a little bit of movement okay that's perfect okay there you go this is part of it let me go for this one here same thing this guy comes out so there's a second half to it that stayed behind here so once this comes out what you want to do is you want to pull this light towards you, okay? So, probably tapping you here. Just be careful with the glass. So, there you go. These are the two retainers I've held in there. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna disconnect, push back on that red tab. This guy comes out. And, okay, the whole bulb came out, but this is how this connector comes out. So, if you wanna replace the bulb, you just turn this kind of clockwise, pull this bulb out. This is a dual filament bulb, versus brakes and headlight. You can plug it either way, but make sure you get the correct bulb. So, that's that. We got a second one here, same thing. Red little tab, push it back. Or we can just turn the whole thing here and get this off. So this is out. What we're gonna do now is gonna try to pull back on that tab, which is super hard. Probably gonna work with my little tool here. So we need to get this red tab back. So over time it will get jammed up from all that water in there. So we're gonna disconnect this. So we are gonna take off this bulb, put it onto the light. I'm gonna have to take off my glove for that. So pretty much to take out this bulb, you just pull it. So this is a special bulb, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn this baby counterclockwise. So this is the regular good old filament bulb here. So that comes out and this baby goes in just like that so make sure you check it before you close it all back so this go back in there this connects in there and then you want to put the two connectors back in okay and push the red tab back to its spot so this is one connector make sure it clicks and holds it doesn't come out and then push the red tab do the same thing here, push that, and push the red tab. So we're all pretty much done. And we're gonna push this back into the spot. So tapping on it works good. All right, so your connectors go in, five minute job, saved you a couple of hours from going to mechanic. And this goes in, and this baby goes in. Now we can try all the bulbs. So I got my friend Patrick here, he's gonna put the car, he's gonna start the engine. That's the brake, so that brake light works good. Reverse light works. Let go of the brake. Turn on the lights, headlights. That works, put the signal on, there you go. Everything works, good to go, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.